as was shown in my previous video named special relativity and general relativity compared to heavenly and hellish near-death experiences there are two different types of eternity being dealt with in special relativity and general relativity respectively in special relativity we have an eternity as one accelerates towards the speed of light whereas in general relativity we have a very different eternity associated with falling down into a gravitational well The interesting thing about these two very different eternities being associated with special relativity and general relativity respectively is that that difference in eternities between the two different theories of relativity is directly associated with the failure of mathematicians and physicists to find an overarching theory of everything. Right now, the main goal for finding an overarching theory of everything is to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity into a single mathematical theory of everything. Insofar as this unifi unification has thus far been achieved, it is found that special relativity unifies with quantum mechanics whereas general relativity does not unify with quantum mechanics. Another interesting difference between general relativity and special relativity and quantum mechanics is that special relativity and quantum mechanics in particular seem to run contrary to entropic concerns whereas general relativity is closely related to thermodynamic concerns. In fact, black holes are found to be the largest contributor to the observable universe's entropy. As well, the temperature around the black hole is found to be a billion degrees or more. The destructive power of black holes is fairly dramatic as is illustrated by Kip Thorne. The primary reason why I bring up the correlation between black holes and entropy is because entropy is intimately associated with death. It's Entropy is the primary reason why everything in the universe grows old and is the primary reason why we ourselves, our material bodies, die. In light of the dilemma that the correlation of death, gravity, and entropy present for us, it is interesting to point out a subtle nuance on the shrouded turn. Namely, that gravity itself was overcome in the resurrection event of Jesus Christ from the dead. Moreover, as would be expected if general relativity and quantum mechanics special relativity in other words, the quote-unquote theory of everything were truly dealt with in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, the image on the shroud is found to be formed by a quantum process. The image was not formed by a classical process. Personally, considering the extreme difficulty that many, many brilliant minds have had in trying to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity. I consider the preceding quantum nuance on this route of turn to be a subtle but powerful evidence substantiating Jesus Christ's primary claim as to being our Savior from 
sin, death, and hell.